reason we were so excited to be involved with this project and help spearhead it was that our mission is to promote and teach the art of special effects and character creation. To teach people how to create living, breathing, real characters that you can put on film, that you can put on stage, that you can put in your haunted house, that you can take to Comic-Con, real stuff. Because you can't touch pixels and you can't take them to Comic-Con. And we believe that preserving the crafts that allows you to do that is critically important. And this robot is proof. You don't have to rely on a, a, a team of people that are in a closed box looking at computer screens to recreate reality, because that is reality. So you don't have to worry about lighting it, it's lit. You don't have to worry about you know, how it's gonna look from the other side, you just, just turn it to the other side. You can plan all you want, but once it's there in front of you, you'll find moments and angles that are just unlike anything that you could have thought about. If something's actually moving and making noises and interacting with them, I think it's gonna blow their minds. It'll expose them to what we can do practically and hopefully, you know, everybody sees that we can make some really cool things come to life. It's right there in front of the camera, you know? It's way different than just looking at the screen monitor. It's actually standing in front of you, talking to you, and walking towards you. Hopefully they can look at it and go, I can do that. And, and hopefully that'll inspire them because, you know, when you see this thing and it's walking down, it's like, Oh, did you see when it was like, no, 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 like, then the arms were flying around every place, like, I want to be there. You don't really know until you create something, and then you learn from there, and you just keep trying to get better for the young generation that, too, just don't give up and just try hard. I'm still doing that, too, so. <laughs> if I do a certain technique to the best of my ability, and somebody sees how I do it, and then takes it a step further that I didn't think of, or anything like that, and makes it better, then that's what it's all about then I can make improvements on that improvement. <laughs> I think you're going to see fans taking it to the next level of cosplay. I think it's, I can't wait to see it, because I think it's just going to drive, everyone's just going to start driving. It's this engagement of, here, look what we did. I think it's just going to keep evolving. Well, what we love is, is the art of what we do. And that goes all the way from, you know, a sketch to the mechanics to the electronics, all the way to the performance at the end. It's all art form, and, and you bring in your combined experience, and this is just another venue where you can say, you can be an artist, you can, you can bring what you love to an audience. It's like, find your audience, find your voice. Our voice happens to be a nine and a half foot tall robot with four arms. Jump in, create art, create characters, create robots, create whatever it is that makes your heart sing and start today. What are you waiting for?